Hi guys, I can see you to dive deeper into information knowledge pipelines and uh, today I'm going to review my Instapaper Readwise pipeline. I recently found a lot of people use it and it's extremely looks the same how do I use Notion and such a purpose. The purpose I mean to consume information and uh, collecting like notes of that in order to turn it into knowledge later and use it with my own personal projects or work projects, it doesn't matter actually. So I decided to switch my consuming pipeline from Notion to Instapaper for a while and just try how it goes. I'm continuously trying new tools and workflows just to try it out. Let me briefly describe the four steps of consuming information that I have. The first one is capturing. I need an easy yet robust way to capture information wherever I get it. The second stage or step is consuming itself. I need to have a convenient way to consume information, to read articles or books, take notes, uh, to watch videos, if you will, and 100% need to do it with mobile phone as well. The third stage is processing and how do I turn my notes into that knowledge that I keep in my knowledge base in Obsidian particularly. I do it with my own words and use it later in order to execute my projects to maintain and to have reference on them. And the fourth stage is actually use it, like uh, how can I have an access to my notes, uh, how it is actionable and so on. I'm not cover the third and fourth step in this video because Instapaper is more like enhance the first two stages of consuming the information. So how that Instapaper could help me to implement my learning pipeline here. So the first stage, capturing, is much easier than in Notion, because with Instapaper I can clip things in one click. This is very useful. I just use a browser extension and uh, that's it. Following the second stage, the consuming itself, Instapaper has really convenient way to read articles, convenient way to categorize it, not that comprehensive that in Notion it doesn't have tags and uh, some kind of uh, categories, but I can use folders that is pretty simple yet powerful way to organize information so far. Clipping YT is something like the same with Notion, but the code, for example, in Notion seems much better to clip. But in Instapaper, I love how it looks. It looks like a fancy magazine. Using Instapaper as a reference for filling up my knowledge base is pretty the same as Notion. As I just go through that and read my notes and uh, rewriting it with my own words if I want to. Why do I think this is going to be working? I like that I am reducing the friction of capturing and reading because Notion isn't designed for workflows like this but Instapaper is... I can't say how long I will stay with Instapaper and Readwise uh, pipeline but I'm going to share it in a month, I guess. Also, I didn't say a lot about Readwise so far. Readwise is collecting all the notes from Instapaper and also I can connect it with my Kindle as well and I have all the notes in the one place. The only thing I don't like is uh, it lacks of context because uh, your notes is always standalone and to search the original article, for example, if I know just a part of it, I want to get back to Instapaper. Also, the great thing about Readwise, you have a, like a daily review here, so it suggests to review like free random notes from your base and uh, it's really interesting to read your highlights time to time. So that's it, that's my new workflow I trying to adopt and uh, I want you to share your own workflows down below in comments. One more thing, if you're watching me and you working in Readwise, please add me to your beta. I'm talking about Reader, that's a new app from Readwise and it's kind of replacement for Instapaper. As I saw it in different video, it has really good UX, so I really want to try it out please add me to the private beta, I'm begging you. So guys, that's all, thank you and bye.